Pete Nevin Glosky. Cachaça is the third most consumed spirit in the world. It's absolutely immense in Brazil. And you're trying to bring it here to the U.S. with Avoa Cachaça. Tell me about your mission while I drink. Absolutely. Please enjoy. So Avoa is a partnership with a third generation producer down in Brazil. Uh, 500 years of history of this spirit. So tons of history, really high quality, interesting, unique products down there. Barely any of it has made it to the US. It's niche, it's growing, but uh, there's tons of really, really great stuff that was, that was down there. Uh, so we traveled down, tried hundreds of them, snuck a bunch back in a suitcase, blind tasted them and fell in love with this producer and then built this brand Avoir around it, which we launched a little more than three years ago. All right, so I'm drinking my Avoir neat and it's Absolutely. good neat. So what's the best way to drink cachaça? I guess a lot of people drink it with sugar and lime and a caipirinha, right? Absolutely. So the unaged here, classic Prata, this is great in a caipirinha or something fresh and refreshing. Honestly, our whole mission is to take it beyond the caipirinha uh, and really show the diversity of the category. The aged stuff, you can sip on its own, sip on its own and pair it with a nice beer or put it in a cocktail such as an old fashioned as you would a whiskey or something of that nature. All right, so how are you getting the word out because you also have a new expression, the tapinoa, right? Yes, I'm, I'm doing my best with these names. You're doing a good job. I'm, I'm doing better with the drinking. So tell me about the new expression. Absolutely. So uh, getting the word out first, a lot of what our work is is partnering with amazing bars and restaurants and craft liquor stores where they're educators. So when you go in, you trust those bartenders. They teach you about what they have. The new one, the tapinoa, is our latest release, literally just hit the shore. Uh, so this one is aged two years in a native wood. We are getting it out. It's going to be in a lot of those places. It also just hit the Wall Street Journal over the weekend in a, in a piece called Message in a Bottle. Um, so this is really going to be in a lot of those places that have already been supporting the brand where those bartenders are equipped to educate. All right. So a little bit more on how you plan to grow Avoa. I know you're big in New York City, but how are you going to get it to other cities across the U.S.? Once Absolutely. again while I drink. Absolutely. So we're actually in uh, eight countries now. So the US, which is of course our biggest market, and then building in Europe. And Europe is actually a bigger market, a much bigger market for cachaça than the United States. Um, interestingly, with the three-tiered system put in place after prohibition, each state is almost a different country. So as we go into each state, there's incremental volume opportunity. We need to work with the new distributor partner and we meet new people in the bar and restaurant scene. So continuing to replicate the model that we built in New York and some of these other markets is All right. our strategy. Well, now I'm going to allow you to drink because this is great stuff. Good luck with Avoa. Saúji. Thank you for coming, Saúji. And thank you for watching The Street. Cheers.